Hey, this is Dave from Gen AI Partners. Today, we're going to show you a brief demo on how you can use uh, GPT-3's API and indexing to create a chat GPT-like interface for company financial 10Ks and, and 10Qs. This could really be done for any type of private content, but we're using that as a powerful example to show you how you can build systems to save your analysts or internal knowledge workers time. You can interact with the 10K in a chat GPT-like experience. So, just to give a little context, this is a, a lightweight chat UI we put together on top of our semantic index and uh, access to the GPT-3 API working in, in tandem. Um, and we've loaded it with only two documents that would scale to tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of documents using uh, kind of what they call vector stores. And so we'll go into that in another, uh, a, a, another video. Uh, and we're going to ask a couple questions. So we'll start with a simple question or a couple questions about the tech call. So we'll just ask uh, who spoke at the call and what was covered. You can see the response is pretty spot on in this one. Uh, it tells us the CEO spoke uh, and he talked about use of AI on Pinterest and opportunities for improvement across several different categories. He also talked about the importance of direct sales and relationships. Most important to note in here, we also set it up to include source information. So as we set up the index, uh, we can also establish a, a source of the information along with each document. So in our case, we just set it up with a blurb from the piece of the document that uh, it's referencing. But if you have external links like websites or doc links, um, you could be set, set up your index to pass those back as well. So definitely improve traceability over kind of the native language models themselves. So let's ask a couple questions about the 10K, uh, since that's a much meatier document, about 125 or 130 pages, I think, in this case, and a lot of legalese, as well as tables and uh, text to get the information from. So we'll start with something fairly straightforward. So we'll ask for the annual revenue uh, for these four years, and we'll see what it comes up with. That one pretty straightforward. Uh, it actually does give us the doc link on this case. Uh, must have referenced that in the document itself. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then it gives us the list of, of years and list of dates. Uh, and you can actually output to a table. We've set up our uh, front end to basically just take uh, to, to take everything and spit it back out as text. So we won't see rendered tables in here. But if you spit out text-based tables, you can get that back as well. And so let's try something a little bit trickier. So obviously more companies trying to look uh, more profitable and uh, look like they have more positive cash flow. So let's ask about how uh, Pinterest makes adjustments to EBITDA. So you can see it gives us uh, kind of categorically, you know, here's the categories that we make adjustments, depreciation, amortization, share-based compensation, and so on and so forth. And again, it gives us kind of the sources of that reconciliation. I think, you know, if what we're really looking though is, uh, you know, kind of the math line by line of what was adjusted, you know, we could ask it a little bit differently. And, and, and one of the great things about this type of interface is you can always ask follow-up questions. So it's not kind of a, a one-shot deal. Um, so let's ask slightly differently. We'll say, show me the math to adjust uh, from EBITDA to adjusted EBITDA in 2022 and see what it comes up with. All right, so this time it gave us kind of a much more quantitative answer. And so it gives us the adjusted EBITDA, and then it gives us a item by item calculation with the results for each one. So pretty cool uh, way to interact with 10Ks. I know for those who have spent uh, time searching through 10Ks and 10Qs, especially if you have many of them, which this could easily handle, uh, a much more efficient way to get the information you're looking for and kind of fun to be able to go back and dig deeper on, on better questions. So hope you guys enjoyed the demo. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, or if you're looking to put together custom systems that are similar to this, we're, we're here to help.